Hi, hope everyone's having a great night tonight. I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to another episode of Teachers Tech. Uh, tonight I want to take a look at uh, templates in Google Slides and how easy they are to use to make some professional uh, looking presentations with cutting out a lot of the work. So take advantage of this great tool that Google Slides has added over this last year. And I'm just going to do a little walk through how to, uh, how to easily change some of these. So let's get started. Google has done a great job at increasing the quality of their templates over this past year. Uh, before, I never really used them very much because I never really thought they had that great of a look, but now these ones they have are actually quite professional looking. So if you take advantage of these, you can have some really nice templates uh, or nice presentations very quickly. Uh, and this is the way I've been showing my, my students more and more this year to take advantage of this. Uh, so I'm just gonna start with uh, one of the ones they have here. Uh, you can see if I open them all up, I'm just in my Google Slides already. Uh, you can see there's around 25 to choose from. and I'm just just going to go to this photo album one here to uh, start with uh, just to show you a few things here so when you load them up they start around you know about 10 slides and but you can easily uh, get rid of any of these slides if you want so if I didn't want this slide I can right click and cut them out uh, but I can quickly add new ones back again by hitting the uh, the little arrow next to the plus sign the add, add one and then I can pick which one I want what I like here you can see that the template theme goes across all these so the color that's selected in the theme um, will be these here so uh, that you don't have to worry about uh, selecting maybe a color that won't match or different one, so they should all be connected. Uh, you can change your theme very quickly just down on the right hand side over here. So if I was going to click, you can see um, how it alters the color. If I go back, you can see that these have changed also. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to uh, this one right here. and I'm going to change a few images on this one. So I'm just going to click on uh, this uh, picture right here and I don't want to move anything around. I like the way everything uh, is lined up on this slide. I like the, how they use the spacing and everything. Uh, so all I have to do is replace the image. So if I click on it and go replace the image and I'm just going to, you can see the options I have. I could take a snapshot or use the, my URL or different ones. So I'm just going to do a search here and I'm going to uh, type in fish here and I'm just going to put this image in right here. So I'm going to select it here and it goes uh, gets put in. Uh, so the other thing is once you've put it in, you're not set. You can do still do a few more things to it. So if I uh, select this here and I go up to my crop tool, let's say if I didn't like the way it was aligned inside this, I can go up to my crop tool and I can move it around now so I can adjust it uh, to get to the center a little bit more. So I can also, if I wanted to make it a little bit larger or smaller, I can grab uh, and I can stretch it out this way and I'll try to get nice and centered. And when I click off of it, you can see and you get into place you want. So real quickly, just hit um, hit an image, go to replace image. Uh, I'm gonna pick this fish one this time. And you can see it goes in and then hit the crop tool if you wanna move it around. Uh, the next thing you can do, you can also alter uh, the colors of, a, of an image here too real quickly. So if I click on it, just go to the image options and what you get here, uh, is your recoloring which you can just simply click and it changes it or if you want to do a little bit more you can play with the transparency brightness or contrast here and if you uh, don't like what you did to these three things you can just hit the uh, reset and it will go back it doesn't take away the recolor you'd have to go back to the normal one there uh, so and then anything with the fonts and everything uh, you can just quickly if you like the size of it you can just quickly go through and adjust it so the one thing about the um, I'm actually I'm going to go to a different one to show you a a few other things here. So I'm just going to go back and uh, I'm going to go to the pitch one right here. Uh, so let's say if you have a have group members uh, that you uh, that you're going to put on a slide and you're just going to use uh, this one right here. So you can see as it gets loaded up, loaded up here, uh, let's say you could replace your these images right across here with the group members that you have. So you can just click on it, uh, hit your uh, replace image, and I'll just keep it with my fish theme for some reason, not sure why. Well, I typed it in different, but um, I'll pick that one there. So you can see, and I could adjust uh, the size of it. So you can also, um, what you can also do is I could right click on it and copy it. And let's say you had five group members, I could paste it and then I could resize them, but it keeps the, you know, the background and the slide uh, looking the same. So I could just play with it a little bit like that by uh, copy and pasting them. Uh, just to show you the theme differences again. So not only does it not change the color, if you pay attention to the font, uh, you notice that it does change the font 
Uh, so you can go through and again, I just like how professionally everything is kept and how everything matches from the font to the colors uh, when you add everything's there. Uh, so you can get these professional looking templates. So something I would recommend to give a try uh, for anything, for school, for business, uh, if you want to have that template that just looks uh, that that little bit much better and has that nice flow to it. So I hope you like this little tip that tonight about the templates. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. So if you like this, please subscribe to my channel or check it out to what other ones I have. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.